Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines, already chanting, Go Blue! But this contest is not a regular matchup. A battle of two top tens, two forces colliding. One team leaves here, making a resounding statement as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Wolverines will kick this deep to start us off. Fields it inside the five-yard line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Georgia's offense trots out there to open this game. And Kirk, here comes the star tight end. There's so much emphasis in college football on using this position creatively. I mean, this guy's as good as any of them. Yeah, you nailed it, Chris. We've seen tight ends have a big impact in college football in the past, but what this guy is doing right now is unbelievable. Speed of a wide receiver, size and power of an offensive lineman. We're looking at a freak out there today. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense loved to play the RPO game. And here early, they pick up some big yards. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Caught behind the line. It's Bell. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. Second down play coming up for this offense. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Breaking tackles. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Game sets up a third down play. Looking downfield, it's back. He'll take a deep shot here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. No stopping and takes it all the way. Touchdown, dogs. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, Pull my defensive backs over. Make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right calls. Here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. And the coverage team able to bring him down. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. We've got some interesting matchups here today, Kirk. Each quarterback is going to have to account for an elite free safety on the other side. Well, Chris, I think this is the game within the game, to be honest. These two free safeties are great at operating and just rolling in coverage. It's going to be interesting to see how these two move around on the chessboard in this game. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrone Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. 
it's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. The game makes it second and medium. And now the handoff. Oh, look at the quick cut. Right down after a solid run by the senior. Well, the scouting report on this running back was that he is an elite ball carrier, and he is proving to be that here early in this game. These first few carries, not only the strength, but the quickness and acceleration to get upfield and get positive yards on display. And the Wolverines begin a new series here, first and ten. Here comes the handoff. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Hand it off. Picks up the first, looking for more. Finding space at the 20. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Chris, all week I wondered if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned, couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. Here's the point after attempt. And the PAT is good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Returner looking to make a play here. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. on first down so it's second and long from the 19. Using the ground game here tailback has the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Cannot connect, incomplete, and now fourth down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there, had great protection, receiver ran a nice route, just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. The dogs will have to punt this one away. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Getting set. Here's second down. He'll hand it off. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up.
Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. He moves the ball across midfield and picks up a first down. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Just a small gain looking at second and nine. Try the ground game here with the running back. Eludes a tackle. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Oh, and he can't haul it in. That's a crucial drop on a third down play. Here comes fourth down. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Five-yard gain to the second and five. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They'll tackle him right over 31. Well, I feel like they called that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run, but look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. That run sets up a critical third down play. QB decides to keep it here. We stop him at the 45, but that's good for a first down. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Grab behind the line, it's ETN. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Off here from the shotgun. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. They'll try to run for the first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The 
dogs will line up to punt it away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Tackle made after a big game. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. One play moves the ball to the 41. It'll be first down. Oh, it's a reverse. He's found some room at the 45. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. You know, we're seeing this more and more where wide receivers are getting involved in the running game, both here in college and also up in the NFL. I think it's due to plays like this one right here. And it's not going to change anytime soon. Excellent play call. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Caught on the outside. It's Moore. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Crucial third down play after that completion. It's a draw to the back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down, almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. And they will trot out the field goal team here. This is a daunting attempt from 54 yards out. Let's see if he's got the leg. He missed it. And this game remains tied in the second quarter. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. On the run, it's ETN. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carry. Important second down play coming up. Back to throw. It's back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made after the completion. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Caught near the sticks. It's Thomas. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. The Bulldogs come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. And now they'll run it on the draw. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, nowhere to go on the inside on that draw. Tried to bounce it, Kirk, but nothing doing. 
How about the push there from the middle of that interior, that defensive line? As you said, nowhere for him to go, so he's trying to make something out of nothing. And by going out wide, he puts himself at risk of being chased down by the speed of this defense, and that's what we got. A loss for the offense. We look to throw it here on second down. Short pass finds the tight end. But a huge collision. Blow delivered there by the linebacker. They're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable. But it is third and long, so this offensive line's got to be ready, do a good job of communicating, and pick up any potential blitzes here on third and long. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's looking deep here. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Georgia. This quarterback on fire today. Man, this defense coordinator better adjust to this receiver. All they did was get him the ball in space, and you can see what he can do after the catch. One defender will not slow this receiver down today. You better bracket him or use double coverage. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. An effective play. Good for a first down at the 35. Well, good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases to be able to get positive yards. And here he gets the first down. Game moves it to the 35, first down again. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. That's the two-minute warning in this close first half. The offense trying to score and claim the lead before the break. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Dropping back. It's Orgy. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Breaks loose at the 45. Slides to avoid the big hit. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got him. You've got a chance to make a play on him, take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks it, and picks up some big yards. Looking to pass this time. He's got it on a crossing route. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. First down and 10. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. With the catch, it's Morris. And he's brought down after a big first down game. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. Second down, we're going to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Loveland. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. Quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. 
And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line, eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Quarterback escapes. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. Boy, how exciting has this first half been? We get a touchdown here. They're an extra point away from tying this game up. A lot of great action here. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And there's the point after. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. The turn begins inside the 10. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So they'll just take a knee here, and that will send us to halftime. Looks like the offense is content to run out the clock here and just take it to intermission. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, who has it better than you? Nobody. Not after that first half in Ann Arbor. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. And the Bulldogs will kick this away to start the second half. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Scanning the field. It's Orgy. Catch made on the right side. And it's good for a first down to the 36. Well, Chris, you watch a completion like that and with the efficiency, it makes you kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had, 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history, and it's good that they're leaning on. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Second down here. Takes the handoff again. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Movement here from the tight end. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Caught over the middle. It's Morris. Tackled across midfield at the 48. Good enough for a first down. 
Boy, this is outstanding by this offense. Third down conversion. The wideout sells that he's going to go downfield, turns and breaks back to the quarterback, sees the quarterback's eyes, and he puts the football right on his numbers. Very nice third down conversion on the curl. He's going to hand this off. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. The Wolverines have first and 10 here. Trying to find room. It's Edwards. A change of direction. Here's the second down play. They'll switch it up looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. Grab down the middle. It's Morris. And they've got him down at the three. Big gain on that completion. They attack the deep middle of this defense. Could come up with a big play. Nice job giving that quarterback time to throw. Good job of making that read to the middle of the field and working against those safeties. And a big play is the result. And the Wolverines line it up with first and goal. Signs the good throw. Touchdown, Wolverines. They will claim the second half lead. Now they line up to kick the extra point. PAT makes it a seven point lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he takes this from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. They keep feeding the running back, but he's had nowhere to go tonight. They've been dominated at the line of scrimmage. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. The shotgun running play call. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Here's a screen pass to the running back. They're finally able to stop him, but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid gain for a first down. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. To throw, it's Beck. 
Receiver makes the grab. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. On the ground, it's ETN. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle for showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game, is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, and you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Here's a wide open receiver, complete. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage, opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. moving into a bunch formation. Looking to pass here on second down. Looking for a deep completion. The outfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. Now the offensive coordinator told us before the game they consider any one-on-one deep shot an advantage. But they couldn't connect on that try. Give credit to that defensive back, man. He played that perfectly. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. He's going to take another shot right here. And he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. This guy is a matchup problem. You put an undersized safety who can run with the tight end, and he's going to go over top of him. You put a big, strong linebacker on him, and he's going to outrun him. Just a really tough matchup, as you saw right there. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And it's fielded. The returner trying to create good field position here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. He's moving out of the pocket. Slides down to avoid the tackle. I'd really like this call by this offense on second and short. Looking to maybe take a shot downfield. Nobody is open, so instead, he's able to just tuck it, run, and pick up a nice first down. Receivers are bunched together. Here's the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. They finally make the tackle, but that's a huge chunk play to wrap up this third quarter. We get to the end of three. It's been a tremendous competitive battle, Kirk, as we check out some of the stats so far. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. 
Oh, look out. The football is free. The offense recovers the fumble. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. After the sack on first down, it's second down. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Escapes the pocket. Breaking free at the 35. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. The Wolverines lining up here on first and ten. And the quarterback keeps it here. Has the first down still on the move. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Man, is this guy difficult to deal with or what? When your quarterback can just say, I am pulling this down, and I am taking off myself on the option. He has that kind of speed. As a defense, all you can do is just say your prayers. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Trying to extend the play. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. So off the solid gain on the ground, they go back to the passing game, but give up the sack that time. Boy, what a big difference, Chris, between the run blocking we saw in the previous play where they got big yards, and here in pass pro, they just get overwhelmed by this defense. Great job of applying the pressure to bring that quarterback down for the sack. So this offense faces a second and 15. The O-line needs to regroup. They'll give it to the running back. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. First and goal. The offense with an opportunity for a go-ahead score here in the final minutes. They'll hand it off. Ball carrier tackled there. Second and goal for the offense. Motion now from the tight end. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. Offense moving backwards here. A long way from the goal line now. Third and goal, looking to throw for it. Looking for six. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not hang on for a touchdown. My goodness. Boy, that is a tough one not to hang on to on third down and goal. But a good job by the defense to get there and knock it loose. So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. And they've reclaimed the lead with that. Well, you talk about a clutch kick. Good job by the snapper and the holder. The kicker gives them the lead. But remember, this one is certainly a long way from being over here in the fourth. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. 
Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. And completion makes it second and short. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Gonna run it. It's ETN. It's a one yard gain. Second and nine coming up. It's a short completion of the tight end. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback, and he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Back to pass. It's back. Receiver makes the catch. Brought down to the 47, and that will move the sticks. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. The dogs are going to keep this drive moving. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Chris, it's funny. I think this quarterback underestimated the athletic ability of this linebacker. He sees zone right away. He's thinking he's got some underneath windows and opportunities to get the ball to his skill guys. But this linebacker steps in front of him and makes a heck of a play. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. This time, a completion. They'll get him, but he put the spin cycle on that defender. Wow. And that's tough for this defense. You give up the catch, but you also let the receiver break a tackle and get some yards afterward. First down here. The offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. Looking to throw yet again. And he dumps it off to the tight end. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Running back grabs it on a screen. And he steps out of bounds. A heads-up play to stop the clock. This is why offenses drill down on the two-minute drill year-round. You want to have quarterbacks and wide receivers completely dialed in on down and distance, and especially the clock. you got to get out of bounds when you can to preserve it. They do a really good job of that right here. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Dropping back. It's back. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense. Waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. 
Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. To take the lead in the final minute. Oh, man, I think the defense was so caught up with their eyes on the quarterback, they completely lose the running back out of the backfield. Nice job by the play caller here of getting the ball out to the running back instead of the receiver for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it off here and hope the defense can hold on. Bringing it out, it's Morgan. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. So here we go. They need a touchdown. Got a little time to work with. How will they play this situation? And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. Chris, they come up with the incompletion, but I like the idea of stretching the defense. It can do so much to help out with your short to intermediate passing game, even affect the running game by making those safeties aware that you're willing to take a shot downfield. Offense needs points quickly here, trying to dial up some explosive plays. Let's see what they've got called. Quick throw to the left. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And smart choice of step out of bounds to stop the clock. That's good execution. The key with these crossing routes is making sure the quarterback has enough time to put the ball accurate on the receiver. Here he puts it right on his numbers, allowing him to be able to pick up a lot of yards after the catch. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Short throw complete to the tight end. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. And the offense takes timeout to stop the clock with just 11 seconds remaining. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And he's going to fling it deep. Going for, intercepted in the end zone. Can he take it all the way? I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in the game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, you're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing him the game. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. 